Inscribed angles are different from central angles because their vertex is on, the, is on the circle. So if I were to draw in two radii, which would form a central angle, AOC, there's a special relationship between the central angle and this inscribed angle when they share the same intercepted arc from A to C. And that special relationship is written in these two equations. The first one says that this inscribed angle, ABC, is equal to half of this central angle, AOC. Another way of saying that is in terms of the intercepted arc. If we have an intercepted arc, AC, its measure is going to be twice as much as the intercepted arc. If I had to flip that around, this is going to be half of the intercepted arc. The second key thing about inscribed angles are when they intercept the same arc. So here we have one inscribed angle, its vertex is on the circle, and I have two endpoints, one right here and one right here. And if I were to pick a random point somewhere on this circle and draw in two chords to where the endpoints of the other inscribed angle are, so now I've created two inscribed angles that have the same intercepted arc. If they have the same intercepted arc, then they must be congruent. So that's going to be helpful when you're trying to problem solve when you have inscribed angles. And remember, the other key thing is that an inscribed angle is equal to half of its central angle and half of the intercepted arc.